Look at that. I love, I so love this. So love this. Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for smashing that bell and hitting that like button. And yes, this is another Gaps in My Wardrobe review. I am so in love. Apparently, I really needed these pieces in my closet because so far, I know this is only the second thing I'm showing you, but I'm working on the male joggers and I just needed these in my wardrobe here and so um, this is not going to be a long review but make sure if you have not subscribed go ahead subscribe hit the bell and make sure you receive those notifications so you know when I'm uploading new videos so let's jump right into it I am wearing the top I will be reviewing today and it is the love notions Breckenridge and let me uh, pop over here so you can see so let me just give you the rundown of the pattern. It goes up to a 5X. Which is really good. It does have a full bust front piece, which is the one that I use. And because it suggests you use the full bust front piece, if you're between your high bust and full bust is more than four inches, I think is what it says. It does have a shirt, a tunic, and dress sleeve options. Um, so you have uh, options also for roll tab, also um, short sleeve and cuff. I did the cuff and... Um, in love just in love I think I'm just gonna love everything I'm making in this whole series and again at the end I will sh I'll do a separate video that shows everything because I know everybody won't catch every single video which is totally fine but I will do a roundup of everything once it's all completed and no it's not in some particular color palette or anything like that it's just stuff I wanted things in my closet gaps I was missing and so here is the next item and this fabric I will just say this fabric if you all remember it's really soft it's nice um this was from um what I picked up from Walmart Walmart and so the pictures I'm showing you is with the cashmere Ellis skirt but I obviously I could wear these together but there's no intention for me to do that I just need to quickly take pictures because we need to run some errands and so <laughs> I just um, threw that on um, threw the skirt on because it was like right there so anyway so let me just tell you I cut out a size 3x and then um, I did the long sleeve so with the long sleeve and the 3x it calls for about a yard and a half of fabric I will say make sure that fabric width is good this fabric width was 58 inches I want to say so it don't think you you good with two and a, a yard and a half with 45 inch fabric no it, you know you'll have to get a little extra fabric so make sure you pay attention to that it's only a few pieces you have your front your back the neck binding um the sleeves and then the cuffs and so you can't see my cuffs necessarily but it start here this is my cuff I, I just love this three like I said 3XL let me get into the particulars so um so I call myself just reading the instructions you all know I struggle with plackets I make my husband a lot of polo shirts and every placket has an issue so why didn't I think I was going to have an issue with this placket just reading the instructions and I did I kind of had to fudge it in the end. Here's a tip, big tip. Just watch the video that's <laughs> linked in the, in the um, instructions. There is a video um, on Love Notions channel about how to do the placket for this top. Watch the video. Watch that video. Um, me, I was like, oh, I can just read it and just knowing I, placket's always give me trouble. And this was no... Um, exception and it's not it's not the instructions had I watched the video I'd have been good um because I what the markings on the pattern where it says to the T there was no T on the pattern so unless I just totally missed it um 
I, I didn't see a tease. Had I watched the video first, I, I would have been all good because it was perfectly explained. <laughs> So yeah, that was more my my error. And I love the fact that you can do buttons on the front. Obviously, you know, I just did these. Let me see if I can show you. These were in my stash. This is what I had. These like this ivory colored flowered buttons. Um, and so I just used that on my stash. You have the choice to use between three to five buttons. Three for on the plaque and then you can do two more, you know, kind of for the... Um, Henley's that where the two buttons go up to the top I only had the three in this color So I just used the three um, which worked out perfect and these are half inch buttons that I use um, So yeah, you can use I believe it was between three eight and a Quarter inch I probably got that wrong But at any rate you only need three to five buttons um, and the size is however comfortable you like it. And then I do like that all of the seam allowances are 3 8 inch because you know what that means. You can serge and run this sucker right on up against the knife edge on your serger and you don't have to worry about um, if you need to, how much you need to trim off because you don't need to if it's running right up against the knife. When I tell you this is so comfortable, oh, I absolutely love this. It's so flattering on me because I like the fact that the pattern goes in here. It's not boxy. So it goes in um, and creates this nice silhouette. I do like the hem. Not sure if you can tell. I'll pop up a video too. The hem is curved has that curved hem in the front and the back and um, no I was not trying to pattern match or anything like that so we know I'm not necessarily about that um, when I don't think it's necessary but I just love the way this fit and the reason I did the cuffs because some days can be a little cooler now just a tad bit and it don't last long but it will be nice just to wear something like this and as you can tell how it hangs on me yeah, I could easily probably take off probably two inches where this will hit right at my wrist. But I like that this draped look where it's kind of going over my wrist here, as you can tell. I like that. I like the way that looks. I like the way it feels. And um, I can get away with wearing this out on a little bit of a cooler day without a jacket. That's what I, because the I like the thickness of the knit too. It's not, as you can tell, it's very drapey. So it's not all clingy. I wouldn't do this in a ponte, at least not in my climate. Um, but yes, I absolutely love this. So hands down, I highly recommend it. And yes, I will be making more. Now, I initially was thinking I wanted to, because I can sew do this in a um in the dress version i'm definitely doing the tunic version for sure um but i probably wait till spring um to do that because i think i want to play with some different types of um knits for that <clears throat> we'll see there's no guarantee i'm gonna wait <laughs> but this was so easy to put together i want to say just a couple hours the only fiddly bit was the placket for me and that's because i should have just watched the video at first because I had to cut into it twice. And I didn't do the bar tacks at the bottom. Um, where you do the cross stitch and everything. Just because I kind of fudged it. I mean with the stripes you can't tell. Um, or whatever. But I absolutely love the way this fits. I love the way it feels. And just under a couple hours to get it done. So easy. And again sewing this all up on your serger. Nothing's, um, nothing was tricky just the placket and again i highly recommend just watching the video that you can um, click on when you get the pattern there's a link to it and so <clears throat> just go ahead and do that but everything was easy to put together i see myself doing all the versions actually the tabs the um the tunic for sure i'm definitely doing more of these with the long sleeve um and yeah this worked out perfect. That's all I got to say. There's nothing um, overly complicated about the pattern. I think it is so cute. And um, yeah, when I fell in love with all the versions from <clears throat> um, all of the ones I saw that all the Love Notion am am ambassadors had done. And so I was like, yeah, I got to do that. And so 
I had to do it. <laughs> I had to do it. And so, um, and I love it. I'm not disappointed. So make sure you definitely stay tuned. What do I have coming up on Wednesday? This week should be the male joggers, the seam work male joggers. And yeah, that is what I will wear with this. But when I do the um, lookbook, I'll just kind of do a couple different ways. I'm going to style everything or put everything together. Again, this is a very laid back, casual, filling gaps in my wardrobe type pieces. Um, and so, yeah, I love it. Love. Oh, I just love it. I love it. All right, everybody. This was a quick one. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. Um, and I think that is it. I think that is it. If I'm forgetting anything, I'll try to remember to say it in the next video. <laughs> all right, everybody. You all have a blessed start to your week. And we will see you on Wednesday. Bye.